primary school. Even though I didn't grow up to see Sadauna as premier of Northern Region, but in the Northern Region during Sadauna, our peoples and children were given even a uh, big mix in cartons. You know, they were well taken care of. The Northern Region was a very peaceful place, and education started flourishing under him. Today, Mr. President, we do not even talk about giving milk to our children in school. We are talking about the safety of our children. If we were not taken care of then, with those programs in, uh, initiated by Sadauna, maybe many of us will not be here. It is unfortunate today, Mr. President, with all the problems confronting our nation. I want to commend my colleague for this bill. If there's one thing we must focus on, is the welfare of our children. The well-being of the two uh, leaders of tomorrow must be of concern to all of us. If we cannot give them those things that we were given when we were growing up, I think this, the, the, the little we can do for them is to keep them safe. So I want to call on governors to do all that they can. Nigeria is such a large nation that you do not talk about federal government being able to police all these institutions of learning. It's on this now I want to say, Mr. President, despite that there are some governors who are doing their best. In our state, Mr. President, we are lucky we have a governor who has taken security as a serious priority. We are bothered by nine states in Koki State. But we've never had an incident where we, the unfortunate thing that is happening to some of our neighboring states has happened. Some governors are committed to the well-being of their people. In my state just last week, Mr. President, my governor awarded contract for renovation of schools and providing security services, along with uh, road construction in some states and overhead bridges. Mr. President, in some state of Nigeria today, where you have highly intelligent people, highly educated people, highly enterprising people like Abia, they are governed by drunkards. The governor of Abia is a champion drinking man. He has done nothing for his people. Roads are not constructed in Abia, Mr. President. Abia people are impoverished more than ever before. Abia people are unfortunate to have to do with their government. And the person we can tell them here, I'm not sure that this is not a concern the body. I'm talking about the government. Security must be of serious priority. If anybody you want to cast any state, not to this state. Uh, the Sungu Senator Smart Ademi. Uh, Senator Smart Ademi, somebody raise a point of order. Please, who is going to read 53 7? Okay, I will read it myself. It shall be out of order to use offensive and insulting language. Senator Smart Adem, continue. But be mindful of what you say. Mr. President, I'm sorry I'm only saying that there's a need for governors to be more focused, to provide the infrastructure and facilities of the great people that they, 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 they govern, to make sure the people are safe and secured, and to make sure that roads are, down, are constructed, infrastructure and facilities are provided, and that we should be courageous enough to say where they are lacking. More so when we have governors with questionable characters who are governing happy <laughs> 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 Senator Nicholas Tofomo. <laughs> 